What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Grizz, and today I'm back. Um, sorry, I've been gone. Um, had a kid, so you know, videos have definitely taken a less of a priority on my list for now. Um, but that's definitely going to change. Obviously, I plan on coming back to daily uploads, or at least every other up, every other day upload. But I have been sticking with the shorts. Um, definitely getting a little bit of content out there, letting y'all know that I'm still here. Uh, but since then, I have been playing, um, obviously not to the point that I've had the time to record a video or take the time to do that, but tonight I'm going to get out a quick video for y'all, um, kind of let y'all know what I've been doing on MLB, um, and the primary, primary focus so far has been the Team Affinity Season 2. Um, with the Team Affinity Season 2 came a ton of great players very usable players i think they're all 93 overall um but with that being said i'm kind of going to go through here and let you all know who i took um now obviously here in the al east um this jason dominguez card almost everybody's using them i mean the diamond fielding 81 speed pair that with the switch hitting 102 power against righties 88 power against lefties i mean 85 contact against righty, 77 against lefty, and it's a little iffy, but the card's great. I would definitely recommend giving him a shot. Um, I've seen a lot of people use this Heston card. Um, for me personally, I mean, he actually doesn't look too bad, but Charlie Blackman out there in right field, I don't think I'll ever let him go. Um, but that's the one card out of here that I would use. Um, I haven't really... This is Xavier Isaac doesn't look terrible. And yeah, I mean, he's a utility player. This Sedane Raffaella, great fielding, good speed. So, but out of this pack, the Jason Dominguez definitely needs to be your first pick. Here in the AL Central is where it gets a little, some more usable players for sure. Um, obviously, first off, this Justin Verlander needs to be your first pick. He's a great pitcher. I use him all the time. 100% recommend getting him. Uh, There's Noah Schultz. Um, if you guys like using lefties, um, I don't perform very well with a starting pitcher lefty, but I probably will try him out at some point. He's a very usable card. Um, the Steven Kwan, I mean, the contact speaks for itself. Obviously, he's not going to be someone that's going to come up and hit home runs for you. He can, obviously, with 61 power and 57, um, but he's just going to be an all-around guy. Um, I would use him if you need a left fielder um, or use Alex Gordon. He's amazing as well. Great fielding. Uh, the contact could be a little higher, but definitely usable. And then this main water ghost card, no, I don't think he's very usable unless you all like his swing. Um, here in the AL West, uh, this JP Richards is a card that I'm going to try out. I don't know how he is. Everything's fast with him. I mean, the 91 mile an hour fastball is the slowest pitch. Does have outlier on his four seamer. So people know what they're going to be facing whenever they go up against this JR Richard, but. Definitely going to give him a shot. Um, this Mitch Garver needs to be your first pick here. Um, it's kind of a toss-up. Um, obviously, Gary Sanchez has higher contact against righties than this Mitch Garver card. Better fielding, a little bit better power. But his contact against lefties with Mitch Garver is where he's going to, in my opinion, be better than the Gary Sanchez card. And that's only because you know that if you're using a true PCI instead of the bat, you're going to be able to use it at the higher difficulties. So I would definitely give the Mitch Garver a shot. I'm using him currently. Doesn't mean I won't go back to the Gary Sanchez card if I don't like him as much. I, I really like the Gary Sanchez card, but I'm giving this Mitch Garver a shot for right now. And he can also move to first base if I need him, but obviously I have Adam Dunn over there. Um, the Stanley Vogelbach card, the contact's too low. So I wouldn't recommend that. Um, the Jacob Wilson card looks very usable. I was looking at him earlier. 70 power against lefties, 60 against righties. Good fielding, decent speed. If you need a shortstop, which it does seem like shortstop's a little bit of a... I mean, people have their opinions about who the best one is, and no one can agree, so try him out. Um, Tim Salmon, I've never had a Tim Salmon card that I like. If you guys like his swing, obviously he's usable for y'all, but not for me. Um, here in the NL East, obviously, it's the same Ed Matthews card as every year, so if you can use them, you'll be able to use them this year. Um, this Noble Meyer card is very good. Um, I would recommend getting him. I have not gotten him yet. Um, I've only gotten one pack out of here, 
and I went with the Mick Abel, who's also a great pitcher. Both of these guys, unless you're rocking some crazy people, should definitely crack your starting rotation, as, long, as well as the Justin Verlander. Um, this Acuna, I think, is this Ronald Acuna's brother? I might sound really stupid by saying that, but I think it is. It actually looks like a pretty usable card. Um, great speed, great fielding, decent contact. I don't know. I'm not going to give him a shot because I like Rich. But And then this Joey Modesta's card, he's solid. Can hit all around. Again, not going to give him a shot because I like Adam Dunn. But those two pitchers out of there are definitely usable. Here in the NL Central is where you get some more usable bats. Um, obviously, Josh Bell, as soon as y'all get him, try him out. I mean, a switch hitter, Josh Bell always has a very glitchy swing in every Diamond Dynasty. I think I'm going to use him. I might not stick with him, but I'm going to at least give him a shot. Um, this Joe Torre card is another card. Has a secondary position as a catcher. Very good fielding. Um, fits the Arenado boost and great contact. So, another guy you can give a shot. Um, this Greg Vaughn, great power. Contact's actually not too bad if you need a left fielder. He might be one. This Rob Doble card is probably one of the best relief pitchers in the game right now. Um, only three pitches, but three pitches is all he needs. Rob Dibble's the same cards every year. Very glitchy, very frustrating for anyone who's facing him. Outlier on his fastball. Nice little slow slider and decently sized cutter. Definitely usable. I've never seen anyone use the Michael Bush card, but he doesn't look terrible. There's a lot of first baseman in the game. Might move him over to second if you don't have someone you like there. Um, out of the NL West... Um, obviously, it's the first one that I've completed because I use Shohei. I use a lot of NL West players. Um, Chase Dollander is a guy that cracked my rotation. I really like his pitch, his pitch repertoire. Very solid card, in my opinion. Give him a shot. This Kenley Jansen is another one of the best um, relief pitchers in the game. Very weird windup. Very hard to read whenever he releases the ball. 108 hits per nine. 100 Ks per nine. 125 clutch, 95 control. I mean, he's a great card. He's a great card. Give him a shot. Um, this Will Myers, I've always liked Will Myers' swing. So if y'all need a first baseman or, or a second baseman for that matter, he can move over there. I'd give him a try. And then Chili Davis, if y'all have used his DH card that was in the Battle Royale the first season, he has a great swing. So switch hitter, I might bring him off my bench um, as a pinch hitter. But aside from that, those are the guys that I would use out of there. If you guys are looking at my lineup, this is what I play ranked seasons with. You can see I have the Mitch Garver. I have the J-Dom. It's kind of hard to decide between him and Andrew McCutcheon because I do hit very well with Andrew McCutcheon. But for now, I'm trying out the J-Dom card. And then I have Alex Gordon on the bench because I needed a lefty bat. And then pitching, as you can see, Dollander, Verlander, and Abel have made my lineup. Um, I probably will not put in that Astros pitcher just because Shohei and Randy Johnson are both great for me and then in my pin you can see I have Kenley Jansen and then whenever I get the double card that's where he's gonna go and then another thing I really wanted to talk about is um, rank seasons um, obviously new season new rewards the rewards are great um, first off this Alejandro Kirk is definitely gonna be my catcher unless he just is terrible 70 power can definitely hit it over the wall gonna be a contact hitter doesn't have the best speed in the world but that means that he fits the arnado boost great fielding i'm definitely gonna give him a shot because he is shorter he's five foot eight so the strike zone is gonna be a little tinier very similar to that of jose altuve so he should definitely be a great card um and then the world series rewards don't have to talk much about it jacob de grom looks like the best pitcher in the game he will replace Shohei whenever I get to this point Same thing with this Mike Cameron card looks amazing as well 90s and every stat that matters batting wise 91 speed 93 reaction <sighs> He's a beast. He's definitely gonna be my center fielder or if I really like this Jason Dominguez card He might take over uh, Lourdes Gurriel there in left field Well, actually I take that back Ryan Braun will take him over he might take over Juan Soto at DH. Or I might move Blackman to DH. But I do like the Soto card as well. So that's kind of what's been going on, y'all. Um, stay tuned. Like I said, I will 100% get 
be dishing out more videos gonna be keeping up with those uh, shorts make sure y'all hit them comment what you want to see if you guys want to see me try to rebuild a baseball team here in franchise mode let me know because I'll definitely do that but in the meantime y'all take it easy enjoy life it's springtime almost summer enjoy the warmth if y'all hate the warmth pray for winter <laughs> and take it easy y'all see you soon